many things I finally gotten to start doing once again post pandemic is in person meetups to connect with other traders in my community. We did one in Vancouver last December, and I really want to bring the same kind of energy and experience with other traders to New York City. My name is Shay, aka Humboldt Trader. I'm taking you along with me on this exciting journey to New York City, to the center of capitalism and the greatest stock market in the world. And it just so happened, my friends over at Trade Zero, Dan and Dan, are there. They wanted to spice things up for me and my audience for my first time to New York City. So they invited me to the New York Stock Exchange. Well, jokes on them. It's not actually my first time to New York City, but the second. Last time I went was 10 years ago. I was a student, I was reckless, did a lot of stupid things, and I was so broke. But this time around, things are much different. I'm no longer broke. So I got my tickets, and booked my hotel room, burned a hole in my wallet, and stayed up until 3 a.m. packing my bags. in the city, I did some trading in the hotel room and did a lot of sightseeing. I went to Summit 1 Vanderbilt, took a ferry to Dumbo, Brooklyn, saw a Broadway show, and biked around New York City. I was in a total tourist mode. Fanny pack, check. Comfortable shoes, check. A very comfortable t-shirt from Trade Zero, check and check. But I bet you didn't click into this video to watch me bike around Central Park. No, you're here to visit the New York Stock Exchange with me. On the Wall Street today, nice East, New York Stock Exchange. it to the opening bell at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. The New York Stock Exchange used to be open to the public tours prior to 9.11, but now you need an invitation from a member of the exchange in order to get access. Special shout out to Trade Zero for inviting me there and sponsoring this video, so I can take all of you guys along with me on this very exclusive tour of the New York Stock Exchange and get an insider look of what really goes on in there. Trade Zero is here to provide traders the perfect tools to succeed in the current market condition. The broker provides extensive lists of how to borrow stocks to short, low account minimums, extended hours trading, and best of all, it's available in the United States, Canada, and many other countries as well. If you sign up through my referral link down below, you'll get 3 months free of Trade Zero platform and save 10% off on short locate fees for the first month. Now, back to the New York Stock Exchange. The security was extremely strict over there. They first checked all of our IDs, and we gotta scan our bags and all of the camera equipment one by one. Once we finally made it through security, this is where we met Offrey Fritter, the Director of Sales and Relationship Management for the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you Offrey once again for accommodating our entire group and making this tour possible. Oh my god. <laughs> cool, right? <Yeah. laughs> Johnny, alright, what are we doing? All right, let's walk Talk to us. Uh, this is John. Nicey's Director of Strategic Sales, and he was kind enough to give us a tour around the trading floor during pre-market sessions. All of these posts inside are market makers, and outside you have the brokers and the options floor. Not gonna lie, I was getting a little bit emotional as I looked around. I, a little Taiwanese Canadian retail trader, am walking on the floors of the most iconic stock exchange of all time. I was really just in awe. I really can't believe that I'm here. 
I have been on a very long journey the last eight years, from quitting what I thought was going to be my lifelong career in VFX and film in order to day trade, to becoming the humble trader and meeting all of you guys here on YouTube. I've never thought that I actually ended up here. I didn't have much time to soak in this reality because now it's five minutes to market open and we have to hurry up to witness the opening bell in real life. The iconic bell at the NYSC rings twice a day, once for the open at 9.30 market time and another time at close at 4 p.m. I'm a little surprised by how small the bell podium is in real life. I can't help but wonder how do they fit so many people up there to ring the bell? And the crowd started clapping one minute before the bell. Five, four, three, two, one! We were really lucky they reserved a standing spot very up close for Dan and I. Dan has been there multiple times as an NYSC member, so this is nothing new for him. But for me, seeing the trading floor in person and feeling the silent anticipation and the energy of the crowd clapping and cheering and of course, the loud sound of the bell ringing Oh my god, this is why the US stock market is the most exciting market in the world Before I left I made a new friend at the New York Stock Exchange. Does this face look familiar to you? Yes, he's that guy. I met the Einstein of Wall Street, Peter Tuckman, aka the most photographed trader on Wall Street. Peter was extremely nice and personable. I asked for his numbers and guess what? He gave it to me. Wow, that's actually never worked before. My mom would be so proud of me. But then he told me he wasn't single. All jokes aside, we actually did a quick interview together with Peter outside the NYSC. He had decades of wise advice for aspiring traders. This guy's energy and passion for the market was extremely inspiring. I'm known as the Einstein of Wall Street. We're here in front of the New York Stock Exchange, greatest financial institution in the world. I've been a trader here for 137 years. <laughs> I went to high school with Alexander Hamilton, so I can share my experience with you. They're rare. It's rare to find someone with more experience than me. Let me know down below in the comment section if you want to see that interview. And don't forget to smash the like button. And now, if you think this exciting day of a retail trader in New York City is over, you are so, so wrong. So make sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I post more videos on my New York City adventure. Thank you once again to Trade Zero for making this exciting tour possible so everyone around the world can see what it's really like in the New York Stock Exchange. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next time.